The spoilers for One Piece Chapter 999 are out, and oh boy, this is huge. This is absolutely huge because we finally have the reveal for Kaido's Devil Fruit and many more stuff. So hello and welcome to Underwise. My name is Suham, and today we are going to talk about One Piece Chapter 999. But before that, if you're new here, then please consider subscribing to the channel since I do weekly anime and manga related content. We're also trying to hit 5,000 subscribers by the end of 2020, so a like and sub would be massively appreciated. With that being said, let's begin the video and also a spoiler warning in advance for all the anime only viewers. Now the hype for this particular chapter is out of the charts, absolutely everyone knows about that because this is the 999 chapter of the series and finally we have the reveal for a very huge thing. But before coming to that, I first need to talk about the initial stuff that happened here because that is really interesting as well. Now as of the recording of this particular video, we don't have any scans for it yet. I guess we will get them by Friday, but for now we definitely have the major spoilers for what exactly is going to happen in this particular chapter. So the title of this chapter is The Wanting Leaker I Made For You. Now initially the first half of the chapter contains the Ace flashback. We get a scene of Yamato versus Ace which is absolutely going to be amazing. And to be honest there's a lot of stuff involving Ace right here. A lot of people were wondering that the Ace flashback might be tied into chapter 1000 but it seems like this is going to end right here and we might get a Rock Spirit flashback in chapter 1000 but we'll have to wait for that. But anyway here in the flashback Yamato vs Ace is shown and it also shows the time when Ace was in Onigashima and how he tried to take down Kaido. And also his motives for coming to Wano is also revealed here because Ace came to Onigashima to rescue the children who were kidnapped from the mainland. This of course heavily reminded me of Punk Hazard and it just goes on to show the connection between Ace and Luffy and how they are actually brothers. Ace there also goes on to say that parents couldn't choose and he of course had a talk with Yamato there and they also fight there, they get close to each other, they drink together and they also talk about the young pirates including Luffy. This entire scene is really going to be very amazing in my opinion and this will be very heartwarming and emotional as well. And after all of this, we switch into the present where Marco tries to fly to the roof along with Zoro. Marco even has a brief recollection of Ace as well and of course, King and Queen are trying to stop Marco. But the most important part here for me at least is the fact that Tama finally learns the fact that Luffy is Ace's brother. This is really going to be very amazing and I was waiting for this moment to come in Wano because Tama actually didn't knew the connection between Ace and Luffy. Yamato also mentions the fact that Luffy has a D in his name. I don't know if this thing will be important in the grand scheme of things in this particular chapter or not, but we'll have to wait and watch for that. But next we finally come to the Big Mom and Kaido stuff. But before that Big Mom tells Kaido to keep Nico Robin alive. Well there you go, the Nico Robin train is finally picking up and people who were speculating that Nico Robin might be kidnapped by either of the Yonkos are probably having a very great time right now because ultimately at the end of the day their theory is somewhat proven to be right and I still think that Blackbeard will try to kidnap Nico Robin as well but we'll get more stuff about it later on in the series. Moreover on that particular topic Kaido also asks Big Mom about the girl with three eyes that is putting on her side and if she is able to read the Poneglyph yet or not. This is once again something very huge and something which I was not at all expecting. I really didn't knew the fact that there was anyone else other than Nico Robin who is able to decipher the text but it seems like the people who possess the third eye are able to read the ancient text. What will be the implications of all of this? Will Sanji be involved in all of this once again? We'll have to wait and watch for that. But next comes perhaps the most important revelation of this particular chapter and that is the devil fruit of Kaido, the strongest man in the world currently. And guess what? We were all wrong. Almost all of us were wrong. We had so many wacky theories that maybe Kaido is an actual dragon, he ate the human human fruit, he ate some sort of an eastern dragon fruit and whatnot. But guess what? We all were wrong. Because Kaido's fruit is revealed to be Uo Uo no Mi or rather fish fish fruit which is actually a mythical type. Now as of the recording of this video we don't have the exact information about the model number or anything but this is the major news. Kaido's devil fruit is actually fish fish fruit. And that actually makes a lot of sense. Oda, you absolute genius, you absolute mad lad. This thing was right in front of all of us for such a long time but we were not able to watch it or we were not able to see it. But hats off to the people on reddit who actually predicted this particular thing a couple of years back. But obviously because this was such a wacky theory that they didn't get any upvotes or anything in that particular order. 
but it is finally revealed to us that Kaido's devil fruit is actually the fish fish fruit. And again, it makes a lot of sense because it goes deep into the Chinese and Japanese philosophies or mythologies. You see, this is the exact same case with Magikarp and Gyarados, and this is the story of the carp or koi fish in Japanese mythology or Chinese mythology. You see, according to this particular mythology, the koi fish that jumped over the dragon gates actually transformed into a dragon. And this has been right in front of us from the very moment we arrived on Wano, from the numerous waterfalls that are surrounding the world of Wano to the numerous koi fishes that are actually trying to jump over these waterfalls. This is such a classic illusion and we were not able to guess it at all. Once again, Oda, you absolute mad lad, you absolute genius. This is brilliant. This is absolutely brilliant. Moreover, according to the spoilers, Big Mom gave the fruit to Kaido on the day the rock spirit fell. This is once again something very interesting and this is the reason why a lot of people are speculating the fact that next chapter, that is chapter 1000, will actually contain the flashback for the rock spirit. That would be really amazing in my opinion, but we'll have to wait and watch for that. Moreover, there can be a lot of different implications to all of this and this is possibly the reason why Kaido says that he actually has a big death on Big Mom, possibly because why she gave him the devil fruit in the very first place. But at the same time, there might be more implications to all of this. I'll discuss about them in a separate future video, especially as to why the koi fish and the dragon are relevant here and why exactly Kaido became the strongest man on the planet. Moreover, this might also explain to us as to why exactly Kaido didn't die from the water because his devil fruit is actually a fruit version. So this is possibly the only devil fruit which has some resistance to water. It generally sounds very wacky, but it does make a lot of sense in my opinion as well. But these are the spoilers for One Piece Chapter 999. What do you guys think about all of this? Please mention your thoughts in the comment section below. So that's it for today guys. Thank you so much for watching. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like it. Share it with your friends and subscribe to the channel for more. This is Wonder YZ and I'll see you soon on the next video.